I want to tell you about this wonderful book on combinatorics that I encountered about three to four years ago. It's written by Professor Krishnamurthy. The title of the book is Combinatorics, Theory and Applications. It's a very peculiar book. As a student of mathematics, I'm always in the lookout for books which are non-routine or non-standard in nature. Books that offer something different from the regular ones. So when I first encountered this book, I was pleasantly surprised. Every chapter of this book actually starts with a list of forerunner problems. These are the problems that you are supposed to try even before starting the chapter. The forerunner problems are usually very hard. I started solving some of them and I found it immediately quite challenging. But nevertheless, with whatever little knowledge I have, I could solve, let's say, 8 out of 10 of the forerunner problems of one of the chapters. I was kind of forcing myself to do it before I go into the chapter because I know the author wanted me to do that and I was just playing his game just to see what happens. Then I ventured into the chapter. Of course, a chapter on combinatorics would contain a bunch of results, theorems, their proofs, examples and the work out of those examples. and it was like a miracle because each of those theorems and their proofs are like the general cases of the problems that I did in the forerunner problem section. So in a sense, I already invented those theorems as I tried and labored through those problems. It took me a lot of time to actually uh, go through the forerunner problems and then enter the chapter. But the result was absolutely stunning because I could understand the theorems in a whole new level because I have already solved the special cases of those theorems as problems and I used my own intuition and my own imagination to do that. As a teacher of mathematics, I always try to draw these experiences and apply them in the Chinta programs. Um, for example, in Chinta, we have these problem solving sessions, this problem to concept strategy, where the classes actually start with a problem. And then from that, we feel motivated to study a certain concept and we do that. It's a bit different from regular school or coaching centers or tutorial centers where you, uh, or books even when you are supposed to read a bunch of theory, learn a bunch of formulas and then apply it into a problem. We think, and this is obviously taking a leaf out of Professor Krishnamurti's book, is that why can't we invent those formulas? Why can't we invent those uh, theorems which we would like to apply in other problems? Because that would provide us much deeper insight into the subject. I, I, I take it that this is a much more laborious process, uh, but there is no shortcut to success. You have to always take the long road. And the effect is also very nice because then our mind is challenged to discover some of the most beautiful results in mathematics. And of course, with a little bit of hint and help, we can do it. That's the even better part of it. So I have put a link in the description for uh, Dr. Krishnamurti's book and uh, you can check it. It's uh, again, it's called Combinatorics Theory and Applications. The chapter on Sterling Numbers is really nice. There are a lot of good combinatorics books that I have uh, been fortunate to be exposed to. One of the books is this one. I hope all of you are uh, engaged in mathematics, physics and whatever things that, you, that interests you. Uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next video and we will do some nice things too. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye.